Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Riley and I really appreciate you guys coming out each and every night. Um, we love you, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Know the keys? Yes, can I help you? Dusty Wheeler with Wheeler Talent. It's been an honor to meet you. You've got real potential. I can see the moment I saw you in this cafe, just your angelic voice could make it for maybe record deals, endorsements, maybe even platinum records. I'm sorry, Dusty. Lola and I just do this for fun. I don't think she's interested in any of that. Hey, guitar dude. Let her answer for herself. She's a big girl. Um, you were saying something about me being a star? Yeah, your potential is so great. I, I think we ought to talk about, uh, talk about it a little bit. Hmm. What about this uh, um, guy you perform with? Oh, that's Riley. Uh, he's the love of my life. Uh. Um, we love playing together. We've played together for a while. He works at, as a nurse at the O'Connell Hospital, but he still finds time to perform with me. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but if you want to be a star, you have to ditch the loser. Mr. Wheeler, I appreciate you coming up to me and offering me a contract and everything, but that's my boyfriend you're talking about. Okay, you barely know me. We just met, and I don't really like how you're talking about him. Listen, Lola, you got lots of potential, but if you want to be a star, you got to ditch the loser. Plus, I can supply you with anything you need. What do you mean, supply me with anything? So are you a big multi-platinum recording artist now? No. I told him I needed time to think. And I wanted to talk to you about it. I don't know what you could possibly want to talk about with me. The minute he mentioned record deals, your eyes practically lit up. God, Riley, why can't you just be happy for me? I'll meet you in the car. talk to you right now, okay? Call me later. Is that the sleazy talent agent from the coffee shop? Dusty? No, no, no. Um, but you know, I've been thinking about it and I'm probably gonna take that offer to sign me. Seriously? You know what? Fine. You do that. I don't need you to play my music. When was the last time you wrote a song for us? God, Riley, calm down. You're so jealous. I'm not jealous. Listen, Lola. I know you're talented. I just don't like what you're becoming ever since Dusty came up to you and filled your head with promises of money and stardom. Dusty sees potential in me. That's why. Yeah, well... Hey. What is that? What's what? That bottle in your purse. This is an old bottle, okay? The doctors took me off of that years ago. Lola, are you using again? No, it probably just fell off the dresser into my purse. It's old. Yeah. All right, whatever. I don't have time for this right now. I have to get to work. Are you going to be at our gig tonight? Oh, we have a gig tonight? Yes, we have a gig every Thursday. How can you forget? It just slipped my mind, I guess. <laughs> you know what, babe? Just don't be late. You know I hate it when you're late. No, I won't be late. Dusty's bringing some paperwork over from the label that I have to sign. Yeah. Whatever. Bye. See ya. Hey, Dusty, it's me. Um, I ran out of stuff. Can you get some more? Okay, great. Can we meet at that same place? That block down from my apartment? All right, I'll see you then.
the hell did this happen, Dusty? How did she end up here? All right, ladies, you all make news. What is that supposed to mean, you low-life scum? Low-life scum? Why don't you tell that to your girlfriend? I think she overdosed. Listen, you asshole, you don't know anything about her. You have no fucking right to assume she overdosed. You don't know much about your girlfriend at all, do you? What do you mean? She's using, again. Shut up! Yeah. What do you think happened? How did she get here? We talked on the phone this morning. She wanted to meet up. But I, uh, I wanted to talk about the record deal. She didn't show up at the meeting place, so I went to your house. The door was open. I walked in. She's passed out on the bed. I knew you had a gig coming up, so I shook her to wake her up. But uh, there's an empty fifth of vodka on the nightstand and pills everywhere. Oh. So I knew you'd have to know if she's at the hospital. I went to the coffee shop. I can't believe this. She was doing so well. And to think all it took was a record deal and endorsements from some sleazy talent agent to get her to relapse. This is making me sick. I, I want you out of my face. Get the fuck out of this hospital. Sorry, bud. No can do. Why not? She's my client now. I'm legally here. No, I don't give a shit. Get the fuck out. I think I'll go visit her. Oh, my head. Oh, what happened? Looks like you overdid it this time, Toots. Dusty, what are you doing here? <laughs> I called 911. I'm the reason you got this hospital bed. Dusty, shut up! Lola, why? Why? How could you relapse like this? I'm sorry, Riley. It was Dusty. He offered me everything I wanted as a singer, and, you know, part of that is drugs. No. Drugs? kept me sane during the early years of our life as a couple. No. You remember? But yeah, there were some bad times, but we got through it together. I, th I think everything just happened so fast. It made me forget that my life and my career really mean a lot to me. I'm just lucky. Lucky to have you. Lucky to be alive. <sighs> You're way too lucky. I don't like what you've become, Lola. I don't like it one bit. Why can't we just go back to the coffee shop? And do gigs there. No. Like, without a care in the world. Riley, I need a change in my life, okay? I want to be rich and famous. Uh, yeah, and you want to be addicted to drugs, too? Not if they keep putting me in these situations like this. I just, I cannot believe this. I'm sorry, Riley. Sorry? Yeah. Well, you can have Dusty in your... New singing career. I don't want any part of this. I need to move on with my life. I'm going to play music because I want to. Not because some sleazy talent agent is trying to exploit me and make money off of me. No, Riley, wait. Ugh. No, Lola. We're, we're through. I, I wish you well in whatever it is that you're going to do. But just remember this. You wouldn't even have this chance at stardom if it wasn't for the music I wrote and all the gigs we played together. I just hope that if you do get out there and you're playing to thousands of people, that you'll remember how you got your start with me. Riley. Lola? Hi, Riley. 
How are you? Any better? I thought for sure you'd be on your world tour with Dusty by your side, keeping you high and making millions of dollars. Yeah, well, that did happen. And then Dusty took me for all I was worth. And now I'm living on the streets, just trying to get a snort or a smoke or something. Jesus, you're pathetic. I know. Riley, I need you. Please take me back. You gotta be kidding, right? After everything that you and Dusty put me through, you, you threw away everything that was good in your life. I know that, I know. And you have no reason to take me back. I saw you playing through the window in the coffee shop, though. And it made me realize how much I miss you and miss playing with you. And I know I fucked up and I can't fix everything in the past, but I will do whatever it takes for you to forgive me. No, I, I can't believe that. You, you threw away everything good. Yeah. Me, your passion for music, even your well-being. I, I hope you find those things again, Laura. I can have those things again. If you just say yes and give me one more chance, I'll show you, I promise. No, Lola. Please, Riley. No, no. I never, ever want to see you again. Riley. Riley.